Hi YouTube! A few years back I met a film director and the other day there was a showing of his latest film Red State. I was there, really enjoying myself and I bumped into Kevin again and thinking Kevin would be like, oh, you know, well oh, hi, I'll shake my hand and not realise me. He recognised me. And he's like, hey, how's it going? You know what you've been doing? Thing. And he said, well, I gotta go, follow me. So I was like, mm -hmm. So I followed him and I was waiting outside like this like green room, waiting for the thing, and I sort of put my head around the door and he went, yeah, come through, come through. So I came through and I'm having a conversation with Kevin Smith. So what makes me even more annoyed is the fact that I never brought my camera. So I haven't got a painting for you, Kevin. But I will have one for you in February because I'm working on one at the moment. But I said, like, oh, I, I have got one painting if you want it. And Kevin went, yeah, definitely, definitely, I'll have a painting. So I was like, ah, oh, yes. And it's now back at the Prince Charles waiting to be given to Kevin. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've got about three hours to go before the show. So I'm really, really interested because he's going to get the painting. And once more, the reason he's getting the painting is because I made him a deal. I said, I will give you another painting this week if you sign what's in my bag. And let me just put it this way. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in my bag. Well, we're at the PCT at the moment. Uh, we've been here for about an hour or so and we've got about another hour's wait before we finally get to see uh, Kevin Smith. I don't know what I'll be filming inside, but hopefully we get some stuff and hopefully I can get Kevin to say a few words on camera. So, uh, I guess we'll see. Welcome uh, to Plus One. Uh, my name is Kevin Smith. Woo! My name is Jen Schmolbach. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, as rare as seeing a unicorn, man. <laughs> this is as rare as seeing a pony corn. This is as rare as seeing like a straight Malcolm Ingram riding a pony corn. <laughs> Here. It's I'm just Jennifer, so honestly, I'm so proud of her, it's so fucking crazy. Like, of all the places you choose to get up in public, it's in a foreign country. Yes, you're like, this is what we're doing, what are, what are we doing now? I didn't, I gave her no choice, I was like, bitch, earn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi, Kevin again. Hello, Bethany, uh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I just want to ask a question regarding uh, Hit Somebody. Yes. Uh, because you tried to, or you decided to cut the movie in two. Yes. How hard was it to actually persuade uh, funding for that in terms of... Uh, well, funding isn't secured yet. I yeah. haven't even gone out for money yet because I just finished yeah. the first script. So we'll wait until we're done with the second, then we'll go out. I have a good feeling that money's there for the yeah. taking, especially after what we did with Red State. So I'm not worried about it, but I haven't actually gone out and put the script on someone's desk yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting till the second script's done, then I can be like, here they are side by side. Or maybe fuck around and be like, look, you pay for this and you people pay for this. Split it up. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out still. But once that happens, it'll be easy because the budget's not going to change. It's still, one, it's still one budget covering two movies. So ultimately, let's say we wind up making it for like $20 million. It's like $10 million a piece for, for two movies or something to that. Would the movie be split in terms of filming, or...? No, we shoot as one gigantic movie. Yeah. That just makes it cost-effective. And then you split it, you know, in where it's split in the scripts. There's a logical conclusion to the one story, and then the next one begins, and that's, like, stylistically different. Yeah, I just got worried in terms of if one came out and, you know, haven't been it flopped for any reason, like, so like Scott Pilgrim or something. <laughs> oh, great, certainly not as good as he's ever written. written. Oh, it, she likes it. it best thing happen. he's ever written. Thank you. She likes it, yeah. but she likes me. So is there a guarantee that the second one will definitely come out? If we make, yeah, we're making them both at the same time. So even if the first one fucking dies, the, yeah. the second one will still come out. Yeah, oh, yeah. brilliant! But uh, if the first one dies, I'm gonna die along with it. So <laughs> don't you worry about that. Nah, from what you've said, it, it looks like it's gonna be brilliant. So I think it'll be cool. Said. I think so far, it'll be, it's so far, so good. Yeah. And as I said, I've got a thing for you. There's one for you in February, but our painting, the painting in that in the living room of me with the British flag. Boom! Right here. This is the origin point. Oh my god. 
gosh, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So I was telling her the other day. Anyway, what's the new painting? Uh, I'll touch it. Rip it open. Go ahead. Show everybody. You painted it, right? Yeah. Listen, I've got one for you for February. This was just going to be ah, a mock up one. Before I do this for you. so damn sweet, man. All right, this is going up in the house, too. Stop painting shit, though. We're running out of walls, Chris. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Put it up right here. Good seeing you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, all right, man, we're on this side right here. Go ahead. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, folks. Fantastic night. Really enjoyed it. I got, got another painting to Kevin Smith's area and just two of my paintings now, which is just, it means absolutely the world to me. And uh, everyone's just clapping and cheering. Woo -hoo -hoo. And I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm going, yes! And then I collapsed to the floor. Um, I had a weird turn, which actually made me collapse, which is something I don't normally do. And I came around a few minutes later and luckily I'd actually spoke to uh, some people that were waiting outside with me who actually joined me like at the front of the stage and um, they I told them about it and so they were like letting everybody else know and when I came around the first person I remember seeing was Megan uh, Kevin Smith's assistant who I've heard a lot on the radio she's very very funny and she was making sure I was okay because she knew that at some point something had gone wrong so she was checking me out so they led me out to the cars where um, Kevin Smith and Jennifer Schwab are packing like some stuff away into the car and whatnot. And you know, Kevin Smith is like, oh Beth, you're okay, you know what I mean? Gave me a hug, you know what I mean? And you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, this is very surreal. Uh, Jenny's wife came over, you know, said are you okay, you know what I mean? Made sure I was alright, and I was like, Yeah, yeah, I've you know, I'm epileptic, I've had a turn. And so um, I mentioned the fact that I'd got some stuff in my bag, and it had to be said, I did have a lot. I mean, I was literally about to say, well, look, if you can sign this and sign this, I'd be grateful. And so they said, well, look, ride with us in the car and we'll sign some stuff for you. I was like, oh, brilliant. So I got in the car with them and Kevin Smith has gone on and he signed this, this, Bethany, this, What does this one say? Bethany, I love you, Kevin Smith. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Schwalbach signed this as well, because she was in this. That's an anime. Cough out. Uh, Jen Schwalbach signed that, because I got that signed earlier. Uh, signed that. Signed that. Signed that. Oh. Signed that. Him and Jen signed that. Bethany, you are beautiful. Sign that. <sighs> Kevin Smith done the intro to this book, which I absolutely love. And Kevin's put... Ah, Bethany, I wrote this. Kevin Smith. So that was crazy. And of course, from the last vlog, <sighs> which really sort of touched me. Bethany, you're my hero, Kevin Smith. I was there and everything was still not with it. And Kevin Smith knew it. I think his wife knew it. So... He asked where, where I live, and I said, I, I live here, and he, because he didn't know, he thought, how far is that? I said, that's just quite far away, it's about mm, 40 minutes away. And he asked the cab driver how much it would cost. And the cab driver's the price, which was quite high. <laughs> 
and Kevin Smith paid for it. I was bad. I literally had not a clue where to go. He got me home safe and I'm really, really in debt. I've sent him a letter, which I've, I've been told he's got, just giving him a massive thank you. Um, I can't believe he signed all this stuff. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm, there's no denying I am a massive Kevin Smith fan. I will be in London uh, February next year to go and see him and Jay, uh, him and Jay in the UK. Jay and Silent Bob. Get, get, old, get old in the UK. And uh, I've got my seats and I'm actually taking a fellow YouTuber with me. Jessica Gray, who's on YouTube, who I've become very good friends with. I've, we've been, we haven't met yet, but we've been chatting a heck of a lot on Skype. And uh, me and her are going in February. I really, really cannot wait. Kevin, I'll see you later. I'll see you next time we come out. We'll be here in February. Mm -hmm. uh, you jump in, we'll get you home safe. We'll okay. see you. Nice seeing you too. Nice seeing you. Can I ask one little favour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you say, um, Jessica Gray, I'll see you in February. Jessica Gray, I will see you in February. Okay, because she's going with me. She's coming? Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks so much. I'll take care of you. Thanks, Kevin. Care of my man? Yep. Thank you, sir.